Hey guys, just wanted to um, give you a really quick update on Pyrivid itself. Um, the, there's a new tool that I've added, it's called the batch import uh, pad files. It basically batch imports all the pattern files that you have into your Revit model if, if need be. Um, some of you start, um, start a new companies or you have an archive of all these pad files and stuff like that and you want to be able to import it into your project uh, uh, fairly easily. Or you could, uh, instead of adding them to your template, you could have um, different sets of pattern files for different types of projects that you do for different purposes. Maybe one of them is for site design, one of them is for uh, interior design and stuff like that. And you can throw them in the folders and import them here um, into your project on an as-needed basis. So um, this tool has been um, uh, has been created, basically has been supported by our, one of our very generous patron supporter uh, patron supporters, and um, that's basically uh, you know he commissioned that you know can I have a tool like this, and we we ended up adding it here. Uh, the way it works is very simple. Just click on the tool. It asks you for a um, set of files. Uh, you can obviously it's only pad files that are supported. Um, you can select as many as files as you need, and you can have as many patterns inside the files as well. So in test file, I'm just going to open that file that I have here. Um, this is the normal structure of a pattern file. I'm going to break this into different uh, sections so it's easier to see the pattern definitions. So you can see that there are four patterns defined in this file. For this example, they're all basically the same. But um, the, uh, the thing that I wanted to explain is that um, for each one of the patterns, you can def define a couple of parameters that are sort of like they need to be there. One is the, the unit and the type. Revit kind of expects, uh, when you import these stuff into Revit by default, Revit kind of expects this, um, these uh, parameters to be defined. And I've kept the, um, kept the um, sort of like that standard um, uh, consistent, um, just be able to, you know, for you to be able to use the same pattern files that you import normally into Revit with this tool as well. The only thing that's different is that if you have a set of parameters defined on top of the file before all the patterns, these are going to be your global param, um, parameters. So if you define one type, type model for all the patterns that come below it, as long as they don't override it like this after the pattern name and before the actual uh, grid line definitions, um, this type model will apply to all the parent, uh, patterns that are coming after that. Same thing with units. Version, you don't really have to do anything because that's only one time per file. Technically, unless you, know, if, you, know, if you have different patterns that use a different versioning, that you don't need to worry about it as much as, as far as I know. And then, uh, yeah, you can set this. You can set any of the parameters basically as overrides inside the pattern definition to the global. And then um, that's the file. I'm just going to pick that. Oops. I'm just going to pick that, import it into it. Basically, gives you a, um, sort of like a you know quick description of what it's doing. Um, it has find these has found these patterns, inch, inch, millimeter, and some unknown, which basically defaults to if it doesn't know the unit and it if it doesn't know the type, it can't determine that because in this example of type sum or unknown or whatever something that's not standard, it basically defaults to inches for units and defaults to um, uh, drafting for the um, for the patterns. So if I go to pattern files now, pattern definitions. Fill patterns. Um, you can see that these blocks have been added here in the drafting and then the one model uh, pattern that we have added under this. So basically that's it's super quick. And then one of the nice things about it is that if you go and change, or if you have set of parents that have this, uh, patterns that have the same name, it actually, when you reload using this, it overwrites the, the existing patterns that you have. So it's you know kind of a good way of, um, if you're playing, if you're creating your own pattern and stuff like that, you can super easily import it using this tool and overwrite the one that you have already in the model. So you don't really have to worry about um, worry about, uh, you know, creating duplicate patterns and stuff like that.